All right, thank you for watching. And today I will show you that there is no way you can order the complex numbers. But let me be a bit more specific because you can actually order the complex numbers using what's called lexicographic ordering. Lexicographic, lexicographic ordering. And by saying that, and let me just give you an example, let's say 2 plus 3i is less than or equal to 3 plus, I don't know, f i, because the real part here is less than the real part here. So, you could say that, and what about, you know, stuff with the same real part? Well, if it has the same real part, then you look at the imaginary parts. So, if here 2 equals to 2, and therefore 4, and because 4 is less than 5, you actually have this, you know, relation. And it's sort of similar in the, you know, address book or something. You first look at the last names, see which one comes first, and if two people have the same last name, you look at the first names and see which come first. So, it is possible to order the complex numbers, but what I want to show you is there is no ordering with some very obvious properties. So, let's forget about this for a second. So, what we really want, we want some operation, let's call it beautiful less than, on the complex numbers such that we have the following properties. One is called uh, tractonomy for all z and w in the complex numbers. Only one of the three things happen. What we want to say is, for all z and w in the complex numbers, either one is less than the other, the other is less than the first one, or they're equal. So, either z is strictly less than w, w is strictly less than z, or w equals to z. That's what we call trichotomy, and I hope this is one obvious property if you think of comparison, right? And then, moreover, what you want to do is, if you have one thing that's less than the other, if you add stuff, it doesn't affect the order of the operation. So z less than w implies z plus y is less than w plus y for all y. And lastly, we want multiplication by a positive number to preserve the ordering. So z less than w implies cz is less than cw for all c. Ah, cw channel. So for all c positive, sorry. But by this I mean, for example, 2z should be less than 2 double. Here, by the way, it's a, this, is, this means a positive real number. So c is in 0 infinity in the real numbers. So ew, hopefully this convinces you that you know, if we have a nice ordering, those three things should hold. And if we want to have an ordering on the complex numbers, hopefully, you know, we can have those three properties. But what I want to show you is there is no ordering with those three properties. So it is basically impossible to order the complex numbers. So claim this beautiful symbol doesn't exist. This thing doesn't exist. And here's why. So proof. Well, 
suppose this thing existed and let's compare the number zero and the number i. So consider zero and i and by the way, zero and i are two different numbers. Right? And the reason is because um, suppose they're equal, then you can square them because if zero equals to i, then zero equals to zero squared is i squared. So zero is minus one, and then multiplying by minus one you would get zero equals to one. And in another video, I show you that if zero equals to one, then everything would be zero, and that's a big problem. Okay, so consider those two different numbers, zero and i, then by this first property, it can only happen that either zero is less than i, or uh, i is less than zero. Then, by the first property, 0 is less than i, or i is less than 0. Because we could only have that they are equal, which we don't, or one is less than the other. And then let's do it by cases. So case 1, if you have that 0 is less than i, then you see i then becomes a positive number and I apologize, I think when I wrote c is greater than 0, I meant c is greater than 0 in this, you know, uh, with this ordering, so not necessarily a real number. So, but anyway, if i is positive, then you can multiply this identity by i, because now we found that i is a positive number, right? Then 0 times i is strictly less than i times i, and that's by 3 with c equals to i. And again, it's a positive number in this case. So you multiply both sides by c. But then we get that, well, 0 times anything is 0, and we have that 0 is less than minus 1 with this ordering. Now, by the way, it's completely okay if 0 is less than minus 1, because I'm never claiming that this is the same as the real ordering, and this, this is why I was very careful about writing those squiggly less than signs, and not strictly less than signs. But anyway, the good thing is, now we found that minus 1 is this positive number, so we can do the same thing and multiply this identity by minus 1. So 0 times minus 1 is squiggly less than minus 1 times minus 1. Again, by 3 with c equals to minus 1, which again, we established it to be zero, positive. But then 0 uh, times minus 1, that's 0, and minus 1 times minus 1, that's 1. So 0 is less than, squiggly less than 1. But again, it might look weird. Actually, no, that makes sense, okay. But <laughs> it turns out that if you have this and this, you will get a contradiction because but then, if you take this thing, okay, 0, squiggly less than minus 1, you can add 1 to both sides. And this is valid because remember, addition doesn't destroy the, prop, the uh, you know, ordering. So I think by property 2, 
just add one to both sides, minus one plus one, and you get that one is squiggly less than zero. And now here's where we have the contradiction, namely, we have that both zero is less than one and one is less than zero. And that definitely destroys our trichotomy property. So this is a contradiction with one. Right? Because what does one say? Either one is less than zero, or one is greater than zero, or one equals to zero, and only one of those properties hold, but you know. We have that both of them is there, so this is, you know, a contradiction. Contradiction with this case, so we cannot have that zero is less than i, and, and in fact, similarly, we find that we cannot happen that i is less than zero, but for fun, sake of fun, let's just do this case as well. So, case two, here. So suppose i is less than zero, then one thing we can do, now let's do slightly differently, let's subtract i from both sides. So i minus i is squiggly less than zero minus i, and again this is valid by step two. two. Because subtracting i is just the same as adding minus i. And remember, addition doesn't destroy the ordering. So we have that 0 is strictly less than minus i. But again, this is great. Because now we find that minus i is a positive complex number. So we can use property 3. So by 3 with c equals to minus i, which is positive, we can multiply this by minus i, so 0 times minus i is less than or equal to minus i times minus i, and again that's c. And what do we get? The left hand side is 0, the right hand side is minus i squared, which is minus 1. So 0 is less than minus 1. Again, same spiel. We can you know, multiply this identity by minus 1. So by 3, we see equals to minus 1, which is positive. We get that 0 times minus 1 is strictly less than minus 1 times minus 1, and so 0 is less than 1. Again, it's nice, you know, but it's not necessarily true that 0 is minus 1 in this ordering, and in fact, let's show that there is a contradiction. Contradiction with this fact, because if you have this, 0 is squiggly less than minus 1, you just add 1 to both sides. So 0 plus 1 is squiggly less than minus 1 plus 1. Okay, that's by step 2. And then you find that 1 is squiggly less than 0. But again, just like before, we have a contradiction because on the one hand, 0 is squiggly less than minus than 1. So 0 is squiggly less than 1, and 1 is squiggly less than 0, and that contradicts uh, uh, part 1 with 1. So even in this case, we get a contradiction, and therefore, we find that you know, in both cases we get a contradiction, and then we're done because we assume that one of the two cases must hold, but we've shown that neither of them holds, and then we can, <laughs> we can
We can go home happy, but not really, because we've shown that there is no way to order the complex numbers, which with those nice properties. So, yeah. <laughs> I know it's sad, but complex numbers are still beautiful. All right, so if you like this squiggly awesomeness and like math in general, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.